Hi foodies, I made some shrimp and veggie chow mein. It's one of the favorites in my home and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Let's get into it. So first thing is the noodles. I have some chow mein noodles here. There are many brands. Use whatever brand you can find. Now, it does instruct you to cook it in some water for a little while just to soften it up a bit. Some brands will ask you to just pour hot water over it this one you do have to cook it for a little bit but then you will drain it thoroughly in a strainer or a colander and make sure you don't overcook these guys just follow the instructions on the packaging you have so this is ready for use but my husband likes it when it is crispy so what i usually do is after i boil it or pour the hot water on it i do crisp it up either in my deep fryer or I will do it in a pan. So I'll deep fry it. Once it's golden and crispy, I drain it and use it. Or I put some oil in a pan like this and then I just toss it around until it crisps up. I understand why he likes it like this because, you know, it does hold up to the sauce a little more once you mix it with all the sauce and the veggies and stuff. So we'll do that. And then after that, your noodles can be set aside for use. Now for the shrimp, once it's cleaned and good to go, then I just do a seasoning on it, just a light seasoning. So I will add some, um, some onion powder and ginger powder and garlic powder. Sometimes I don't do that. Sometimes I'll just use my soy sauce and ginger, but this time it's ginger powder, garlic powder, onion powder, and then some black pepper as well. Then I just toss everything together. Sometimes I'll add soy sauce at this point, but this time I just did it differently, all right? So, oil in the pan, over high heat, and then we're just gonna saute these quickly, all right? So you're just gonna do this for two minutes max. So, of course, sometimes I marinate the shrimp with the soy sauce from the get-go, and sometimes I'll just sear it in the pan, and then I add a splash of soy sauce just to give it a little color. So, of course, just add that in, toss it around, and then you'll set the shrimp aside. They don't need to be cooked for a very long time, all right? Set these aside, add a little oil to the pan if you need to, and then add some onion. I just have some um, chopped onion here and I have some fresh broccoli. Now, ideally, I like to use fresh ingredients only, but sometimes as a busy mom, I just, you know, draw for that easy, convenient way. So I'll put some fresh ingredients, but then I have a frozen veggie mix. It's the Asian style, so it's got carrot and edamame and peat beans, and I'll just add that in there. Make sure your heat is very high, because remember, these are icy and you want them to get, you know, get to sauteing. You don't want it to steam. So make sure the heat is high. I did add some tomatoes just because I realized there was no red bell peppers in this. So, and I didn't have any red peppers in the fridge. I ran out. So that's just for color. Now I am tossing in some minced garlic and minced ginger. Sometimes I'll saute these before, right? Today I'm just stirring them in. I've made this dish so many times and in so many different ways, but it always turns out delicious. So toss the garlic and the ginger in there. Make sure you keep stirring all of this together. And then add some soy sauce. And then I'm gonna go in with a slurry. A slurry is a mixture of water and cornstarch. Okay, it's just gonna help to thicken things up and give it a little bit of a sauce there. So add the slurry and then I'll add some hoisin sauce you don't have to but because I kind of like the slight sweetness in my chow mein I add the hoisin sauce some people prefer oyster sauce okay toss this together if you want it super saucy add a little bit more water then add a little splash of soy sauce it's easy to adjust guys all we're gonna do is add the noodles that were crisped up and we're also going to add the shrimp afterwards and stir everything together. 
keep this over low heat so that it doesn't dry out some people like their chow mein a little dry some want it saucy if you want it super saucy add a little bit more water add your soy sauce and hoisin sauce remember that soy sauce is salty so you can manage to add a little water to this without losing flavor okay so don't worry about it you just add a few splashes of water if you want to or veggie broth then i'm gonna add some diced scallion and that's it you can add some sesame seeds if you want but that's it guys toss everything together serve it up really delicious and everybody in my home loves this there are no complaints it is so good and it's easy so give it a try and let me know what you think once you do i'll see you guys next time